Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Kindle Previewer to preview your Kindle book before you upload it to Amazon to have it uh, go live and be for sale. So you want to do this to make sure everything's going to look right in various types of devices um, before you actually post it online because you never know how it's going to look otherwise. So what you want to do is download and install the Kindle Previewer, which is free. I'll put a link in the description. And then you either need to click on Open Book to open a book, or you could just drag and drop your book right there. And you might get this message saying it couldn't identify the language. And if this is the case, just pick your language, click OK. And it might take a little time to load. Mine loaded quickly because I've opened this in here recently. So once you're there, you'll see all your pages, which you could just kind of scroll through and you know kind of go through and see how they look, that type of thing. Then over here on the left, if you've made a table of contents like I've done, you could go right to that table of contents that way. And also, let's say you're on a page here and you want to click a link from your table of contents. So you could actually click it right from there and it'll take you to that page itself. And then up here you have options to view different items in your document or your book. Like let's say you only want to view pages that have images, you could do that. Or pages that have links, you could do that. It'll only show you the ones with links that it found, that kind of thing. And then here on the left for location, you could go to different pages. Now keep in mind, the page numbers in here are not going to match what you have in your Word document because it's going to vary depending on what type of device the reader is using. Because you'll see this is a like 250 page book and it says 2,700 pages. So that's not accurate, obviously, compared to my Word document. And then up here you could change what type of device you're previewing it on. The default is tablet. If you want to pick phone, which is going to be smaller. Or a Kindle e-reader, which is going to be black and white. And then you could change the orientation if you want. So if somebody's going to be turning it sideways, you could see how it looks that way. So let's go back to the default. And then over here, if you want to search for something, you can, let's, let's say let's search for virus because there's some virus information in here. So it's going to only show you pages that have the word virus in it, that type of thing. And you can clear the search. And then up top here, we have some menu items like navigation. Go to the first page, go to the last page, go to the beginning, you know, next page and so on. Go to the table of contents. Color mode, you could change colors for some reason if you wanted to. Conversion log, this will run a little report and tell you if there's any errors. And then you can go back and fix them. Most of the time you could just ignore this. And it'll also put the report in the uh, folder that your book was um, loaded from. And there's some other options if you want to see some of the tools up there. Book information is not going to tell you much. Preferences, if you want to change the uh, default device from tablet to something else, and the aspect ratio, and the orientation. And then under file, you have the quality checks, which will run a different kind of report. I'll tell you that six issues were found. Let's open the report. And you can see it says invalid external link, which is not true, but it's thinking it is. So once again, you could usually ignore that. And once again, it puts the uh, file in there if you want to go back to it later. And then you have some export options. So if you want to be able to um, export this in a file format where you could load it back into the uh, previewer without having to reconvert it, you could pick that. Or some support for some older Kindle devices and older iOS devices, you could do that as well. Yeah, so other than that, it's pretty simple to use. Just what I always do is go through and just browse through every page and kind of look to see uh, how it looks, make sure nothing looks weird or out of place. So, and also, like I was saying before, you, know, you can't control what content is going to be on which page when you um, do a Kindle book like you can with a print book because it's going to vary on what device and then also, you know, what font they're going to be using and font size and so on. So yeah, go ahead and do that, and then once everything's good to go, you could uh, upload it to Amazon and hopefully start selling some copies. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.